you see garlic stick foot long and it comes like this it is number 31 on the menu and let's see the inside I told them to make it as is so it just comes as is and let's see how this is okay this is artisan Italian toasted uh, bread and when we open it up okay there's steak in here slices of steak the double uh, cheddar cheese in here uh, the red onions green peppers and uh, there is also uh, roasted garlic uh, aioli sauce and there's a sub crunch this is these are the sub crunches is this new crunch uh, crunches Let's see how this goes. Pretty cheesy. And I also got some roasted garlic aioli on the side. I'm going to eat it with the new uh, messy chips. And uh, this one looks like I'm going for a swim already. Let's see how this new sauce goes. This is the garlic aioli, roasted garlic aioli sauce. Tastes like ranch in a way, but extra garlicky ranch with like extra garlicky taste kind of like that overall when eating this sandwich the cheesy taste just dominates the entire flavor and when you get the sub crunch uh, bite with the cheddar cheese sauce it kind of feels like you're eating a nacho snack uh, kind of like that uh, uh, the roasted garlic aioli in here it doesn't really have a strong garlic uh, flavor uh, what happens is because the cheddar cheese is dominating uh, and the uh, garlic aioli, roasted garlic aioli kind of has like a ranch side of taste. The, the garlic side kind of becomes in a way kind of silent. It's kind of like very, very low on the garlic uh, part of the flavor, incredibly low. Sometimes you get it as an aftertaste and not uh, while eating. I think it needs more red onions in here. Uh, the good amount of uh, green pepper, I think it needs red onions more uh, nice uh, steak in here nice uh, sandwich overall but it just kind of feels like a snack because of the cheddar juice and there's some crush together it feels like you're biting into nacho chips in a way uh, very low on the garlic pretty good uh, sandwich cheesy garlic steak full long from subway